Hello, welcome. My name is Jacob, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to my poster presentation entitled The Effects of Common Lane Hen Injuries on Landing Velocities. This summer, I decided to design a study aimed at providing some understanding of how landing velocities vary among hens with injuries commonly found in aviary-style housing systems, injuries like footpad dermatitis and keelbone damage. Footpad dermatitis is an infection of the, found on the plantar region of the foot and keelbow damage affects wing usage and is described as a fracture or deviation of the chicken's breastbone. These can both be seen in figure one. Nationally, there's approximately 2.7 million lane hens housed in aviary systems. In these aviary systems, hens must jump up and down from perches and other elevated platforms to access water, food, and nest boxes. This allowance for a hen's movement through their three-dimensional environment means that hens housed in aviaries become reliant on their wings. For chickens, the wings play their most crucial role during the takeoff and landing phases of flight. When landing, the wings need to act as a brake to slow the hen down and prevent any high velocity landings. This critical connection between wing usage and landing phase of flight drives our prediction that keelbone damage will result in hens having higher landing velocity than the healthy and footpad dermatitis groups. The nature of footpad dermatitis leads us to predict that hens will have the lowest landing velocity as hens actively avoid contact with the site of infection. This study was completed using 22 hens housed in an aviary at the Arkell Poultry Research Station. Eight hens with keelbone damage, eight hens with footpad dermatitis, and six healthy hens were used. Hens underwent two weeks of training where they were habituated to the test area, as well as becoming comfortable with being handled and released from a height of 30 centimeters. Hens were randomly chosen and were, re were released from a mark of 30 centimeters until they landed properly on the force blade apparatus with no more than one toe overlapping. Figure three illustrates the release protocol and, force plate, and the force plate apparatus can be seen in figure two. Upon completion of five trials, the hens were rewarded with sweet corn and brought back to their home pens. When all data was collected, the X, Y, and Z forces were extracted from the force plate and imported on a hen and trial basis into a software called Igor Pro, where the data was filtered and smoothed. Once impulse and the hen's body mass were isolated, landing velocity was calculated by dividing the impulse in newtons by the hen's mass in kilograms. How impulse and mass are found can be seen in figure four. After analyzing the results, it was found that hens with keelbone damage have a higher mean landing velocity than hens with footpad dermatitis and healthy hens. Though there was no statistical significance, this is likely due to the high standard error and small sample size. There was a trend found that shows that health, the health status of a hen contributes to the landing velocity, but this is likely because the mean landing velocity of hens with keelbone damage is greater than the mean landing velocity of hens with footpad dermatitis. The mean landing velocity of hens with keelbone damage, hens with footpad dermatitis, and healthy hens can be seen in figure five. Hens that have keelbone damage likely had a higher landing velocity because of their reluctance to use their wings as a braking me mechanism because of the injury to the breastbone and the surrounding muscle which is heavily involved in wing use. With these results, it begs us to ask the question, if hens with existing keelbone damage are now more likely to have progressively worsening injury due to their consistently high landing velocities. The lower landing velocities of hens with footpad dermatitis could be attributed to their reluctance to bear force on the landing site of an infection. Further research in into the interaction between landing velocities and common injuries of lane hens using a larger sample size and releasing from heights similar to those found in production aviaries could reveal the answer to these questions. This research demonstrates a tendency for hens with injuries commonly found in aviaries to have landing velocities different from healthy hens. This knowledge of how existing injuries may influence the biomechanics of landing and impact the ability of hens to navigate their environment could be applied to management practices and be considered when evaluating welfare concerns. Thank you for tuning in to my poster presentation.